Hello students, today I'll be discussing about protocols in networking concepts. We live in a world where millions of people across the globe speak hundreds of different languages. We would never be able to communicate worldwide if there were no standards, right? Governing the way we communicate and the way our machines process data. So these standards are nothing but a set of rules which are followed by everyone. Similarly, there are certain rules which determine how data should be transferred over the networks or compressed or presented on the screen and so on. Right. So these set of rules are called protocols. Likewise, there are many other protocols, each one governing the way certain technology works. Hence, the basic need of protocols is to standardize the processes and ways of communicating over a computer network. So let us learn about most common protocols and their unique features. The actual protocols of TCP IP model are collectively called as Internet Protocol Suite. TCP stands for Transmission Control Protocol and IP stands for Internet Protocol. All right, so let's see about TCP IP. Its name, full form is Transmission Control Protocol internet uh, protocol it's a suit of communication protocol used to connect various computers on the internet it provides end-to-end -end data communication specifying how data should be broken into pieces called packets transmitted and routed from one network to another until they reach the destination so tcp ip is a combination of two separate protocols tcp and ip so tcp is transfer control protocol or transmission control protocol it is used for reliable and foolproof data transmission over the network it is responsible for dividing the data into packets at the sender side and for assembling these packets at the correct destination ip or internet protocol provides a sequence number to each of these packets so that they might be they might reach the destination in correct order also, it handles the addressing of each packet so that it is delivered to the correct destination. <clears throat> well, it was developed in 1978 by Robert and Vinton Ray, sir. HTTP, on the other hand, is a hypertext transfer protocol. It determines how different forms of information, like text, images, sound, and other multimedia files, they get transferred to your screen over the internet. This protocol also defines what actions web servers and browsers should take in response to various common commands. For example, when a user enters the URL for any web page in the address bar of the browser, it sends an HTTP command to server requesting it to open the specified web page. So hypertext transfer protocol, secure, here S stands for secure. It's the secure version of HTTP, the protocol over which data is sent between your browser and the website that you are connected to. Here all communications between the browser and the website are encrypted. That is what S secure. It stands for. Next is FTP. FTP is file transfer protocol. It is one of the simplest and easiest ways to exchange files between two or more computers on the internet using FTP client and FTP server software. So FTP uses internet's TCP IP protocols to download software or programs to our computer from different sources. The source can be a web server or a remote host over the internet. You can use FTP either using a GUI based FTP software or via MS-DOS from both will work. Nowadays, internet browsers have an inbuilt feature to do these services. To access any file or content using FTP, a user needs to log in on the FTP server and provide his or her credentials. The FTP software allows the user to drag and drop the file between the remote or remote and the local host. Some of these files are always available free for public use or download. 
such files can easily be accessed using the anonymous ftp the file transport protocol or ftp was originally designed by abhay bhushan and published in 1971 then we come to smtp smtp stand for simple mail transport protocol it is used most commonly used protocol for sending emails or between two or more emails it is usually used to send messages from a mail client to a mail server the messages are then retrieved by the email client then we come to imap and pop imap is internet message access protocol and pop is post office protocol these are the two most popular internet standard protocols for retrieving emails in today's world almost every single email client supports both these protocols due to their wide acceptability the utility of imap or pop protocol varies with respect to their usage in different environments when configuring an email application it is essential to specify both the sending protocol that is smtp and the receiving protocol that is the pop or imap Let's see what we have done. A small recap: A computer network can be defined as a group of computers and other peripheral devices that are linked together for the purpose of sharing data and hardware resources. Networking in computer brings efficiency, economy, and effectiveness in an organization. Data can be transmitted from one location to another by using wires or without wires. An Ethernet cable connects various devices such as PCs, routers, switches within a local a local area network. A coaxial cable is used in the transmission of video communications and audio. Fiber optics is a popular technology that has a large cap capacity to transfer data at a very high speed. Then we studied about Bluetooth. Bluetooth is a communication technology that uses low power radio waves to connect electronic devices wirelessly. Infrared technology is a short-range communication technology that covers approximately five meters of distance. <clears throat> Wi-Fi stands for wireless fidelity. It creates a wireless local area network that uses radio waves to send information. Other networks are PAN, LAN, CAN, MAN, and WAN. These are the types of networks. Network devices are the hardware devices used to connect computers, electronic devices. together in order to share files or resources like printers or fax machines the internet is a global wide area network that connects computer systems across the world protocols are certain set of rules which determine how data should be transferred over networks compressed presented on the screen and so on tcp ip transmission control protocol and internet protocol is a suite of communication protocols used to connect various computers on the internet http or a hypertext transfer protocol determines how different forms of information get transferred to your screen over the internet ftp or file transfer protocol is a standard internet protocol used to exchange files between two or more computers on the internet using ftp client and ftp server software SMTP is simple mail transfer protocol is most commonly used protocol for sending emails between two or more servers IMAP internet messaging access protocol and POP post office protocol these are the two most popular internet standard protocols for retrieving emails students let's try some back exercises here we have fill in the blanks we have some hints also for you if you want to see let's see the first one dash is the physical path through which the message travels from sender to the receiver this can you guess this is it transmission medium right yeah that's right then we have Dash is a communication technology that uses low power radio waves. Do you remember low power radio waves? Where did we cover that? It's Bluetooth. Is it right? Yeah, this is right. Okay. 
A dash is a computer network that covers a small area of about 10 meters. What is this? Personal area network, PAN. You remember that? Yeah, that's right. Let's move on. A dash is an image, audio, video, graphics, or text that connects one web page to another web page. You would like to see the hints here? See this? What do you think is the answer? Yes, it's hyperlink. Is it right? Yeah, that's right. An IP address is a dash bit address containing a set of four numbers, which varies from 0 to 255. This is 32-bit. Okay, 32-bit address containing set of four numbers. Is it right? Yeah, that's right. Then the set of rules, wherever you find set of rules, it's a direct indication that this is a protocol, okay? Protocols are set of rules that determine how data should be transferred over the networks, compressed and presented on the screen, okay? Please do remember, okay, protocol. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Let's move on. Here we have a crossover Ethernet cable has got both its ends identical to each other. Now we must remember here that a crossover cable, where it is used, whenever you have to connect one device with another one. Okay, and they both the ends are not identical to each other. Okay, let's see. False. Yeah, infrared technology can connect only two devices at a time. Is it right? Yeah. Okay, Wi-Fi wi stands for wireless filtering. No, it's wireless fidelity, right? So it's false. Okay, yeah, that's right. CAN is a campus area network, you know that? And MAN is a metropolitan area network. So CAN covers a smaller area, okay? So it's true. Is it right? Yeah, it's right. ISP provides internet connection to users free of cost. Now, is it right? Yeah, that's right. We have we you might be having modems at your home, right? For internet. So we have a monthly subscription for that, right? So it's not free of cost. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this. Let's move on further. Now we have multiple choice questions. Here we have to tick mark on the correct answer out of the given three. Let's start from the first one. Hypertext appears with an underline and is usually in, do you remember? It's in blue color, right? Let's see. Yeah, this is blue. Which networking device is used to connect multiple computers and computing devices directly to the network using cables? It's the hub. You remember that? We discussed it. Then the last one. A dash converts digital signals to analog signals and vice versa. What is it? A modem. Right? I told you modem stands for modulation and demodulation. All right. Let's see the next one. Cable television is an example of its metropolitan area network where it spans a city. Right? So let's see. Yeah, it's right. Then the last one, fifth one, which one of the following modes of transmission requires the devices to be in a direct line of sight with each other? You might have used a remote control or a TV or an AC, remember that? So it is IR, infrared. There we go. Is it clear, children?
All right, children, we have discussed multiple choice questions and fill ups and true false questions. Okay, next we come to the descriptive answers, but that will be sending you via PDF. Okay.